the power of purpose. Dispersion is weakness, concentration is power. Destruction is a scattering, preservation a uniting process. Things are useful and thoughts are powerful in the measure that their parts are strongly and intelligently concentrated. Purpose is highly concentrated thought. All the mental energies are directed to the attainment of an object, and obstacles which intervene between the thinker and the object are, one after another, broken down and overcome. Purpose is the keystone in the temple of achievement. It binds and holds together in complete whole that which would otherwise lie scattered and useless. Empty whims, ephemeral fancies, vague desires, and half-hearted resolutions have no place in purpose. In the sustained determination to accomplish, there is an invincible power which swallows up all inferior considerations and marches direct to victory. All successful men are men of purpose. They hold fast to an idea, a project, a plan, and will not let it go. They cherish it, brood upon it, tend and develop it, and when assailed by difficulties, they refuse to be beguiled into surrender. Indeed, the intensity of the purpose increases with the growing magnitude of the obstacles encountered. The men who have molded the destinies of humanity have been mighty men of purpose. Like the Roman laying his road, they have followed along a well-defined path and have refused to swerve aside even when torture and death confronted them. The great leaders of the race are the mental road makers, and mankind follows in the intellectual and spiritual paths which they have carved out and beaten. Great is the power of purpose. To know how great, let a man study it in the lives of those whose influence has shaped the ends of nations and directed the destinies of the world. In an Alexander, a Caesar, or a Napoleon, we see the power of purpose when it is directed in worldly and personal channels. In a Confucius, a Buddha, or a Christ, we perceive its vaster power when its course is along heavenly and impersonal paths. Purpose goes with intelligence. There are lesser and greater purposes according with degrees of intelligence. A great mind will always be great of purpose. A weak intelligence will be without purpose. A drifting mind argues a measure of undevelopment. What can resist an unshakable purpose? What can stand against it or turn it aside? Inert matter yields to a living force, and circumstance succumbs to the power of purpose. Truly the man of unlawful purpose will, in achieving his ends, destroy himself. But the man of good and lawful purpose cannot fail. It only needs that he daily renew the fire and energy of his fixed resolve to consummate his object. The weak man, who grieves because he is misunderstood, will not greatly achieve. The vain man, who steps aside from his resolve in order to please others and gain their approbation, will not highly achieve. The double-minded man, who thinks to compromise his purpose, will fail. The man of fixed purpose who, whether misunderstandings and foul accusations, or flatteries and fair promises, rain upon him, does not yield a fraction of his resolve, is the man of excellence and achievement, of success, greatness, power. Hindrances stimulate the man of purpose. Difficulties nerve him to renewed exertion. Mistakes, losses, pains do not subdue him and failures are steps in the ladder of success, for he is ever conscious of the certainty of final achievement. All things at last yield to the silent, irresistible, all-conquering energy of purpose. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not whined nor cried aloud, under the bludgeoning of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the scroll, I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul.